I was very moved to present the film uh, here in Morocco, uh, especially with everything going on today. It's been very hard to to accompany the film, but also necessary to be able to be present in a context where Palestinian voices are silenced and Palestinians are dehumanized. And so I was very moved because I know how much the Moroccan people uh, know about uh, the Palestinian stories and, and want to hear more. So it was really, really moving to present the film and to see a crowd of 700 people. And, uh, you know, we were uh, sharing so much love after the, the screening and, and I felt so much warmth and solidarity and support and I think it gave me a lot of strength and it's a moment that I will carry in my heart for a long time. Um, the thing is the images were filmed by my father so it's it's his actually heritage that I I grabbed and continued on. Uh, I think he maybe wasn't conscious, but he was also looking for traces of uh, stories that he knew might be silenced, might disappear into oblivion of a generation that has, you know, been wiped out of places uh, and whose memory has been wiped out of of the places they grew up in and, and knew. So I think I kept on doing that. And thanks to the, uh, my father's images, I also rediscovered my mother as a young woman. You know, you never expect to understand or know about your mother as a young girl or as a young woman. You know her as a mother and you as a daughter. So it was fascinating for me to to be able to grasp that and to see her passion and to see how much she's been able to fulfill and follow a dream that she wasn't destined to. Um, she withdrew from her family to be able to to pursue an acting career when she wasn't destined to the world of arts. And so that was really fascinating. And what fascinated me even more is that I felt that, you know, what she was able to do was not only not only uh, something that came only from her. I felt that she was also uh, continuing something that the women of the family had also done in, in their time. I felt that each of the women in my family has been able to follow and pursue some of their dreams despite the context of colonization, exile, displacement. They've been able to influence the world around them, to transmit values of love and forgiveness and tolerance to their children when they actually were deprived of that. And so I was really interested in the film to reconnect my mother to the stories of the women of our family, also to reconnect myself to this lineage of women. Yeah, of course, for me, uh, land and motherhood are connected. And I think that's why we also use the term motherland. Um, because when you lose a mother, you feel like you also lose your connection to the motherland, especially in a context where you don't live in the motherland anymore, or you were forced to leave, or you were uh, displaced. And so it, it, it has such an important significance because it's the roots and the mothers are the roots also. So of course, when you lose a mother, you lose everything that connects you to to these roots and it can be a home it can be a land it can be a city it can be a country so i think all the all the the fears of loss are really intertwined in the film uh, it happened lost ha loss happened loss continues to happen and it's as if our the trauma that is transmitted is the fear of loss as if when you lose one time, you're always afraid to lose again. And as we see today, the sphere of loss is really present and it's actually happening. We keep on losing. And this is why for me, each image that we create or each image that we find of a Palestinian story, a Palestinian character, a Palestinian emotion becomes the proof of a denied existence. Mm -hmm.